Does chemistry seem like the kind of thing that only old people in white coats can do? We're actually all chemists. Even our bodies are made of chemicals. When we eat, breathe or just sit down, chemical reactions are taking place. All matter is made from some kind of chemicals, so chemistry is the study of everything. But how does chemistry occur in our everyday lives? The most obvious place is in the kitchen. When we cook something, a chemical reaction occurs. The raw meat turns into cooked meat so that our bodies can absorb the nutrients better. When we bake a cake, the ingredients cause a chemical reaction to create the batter. And then another chemical reaction happens when it goes into the oven. Even the way we store our food in the fridge and when things rot away are all chemical reactions. Another common aspect where chemistry occurs is through cleaning. Chemicals are created to target specific areas like dishes, laundry and your body. Imagine using bleach to wash your body. It would burn! But even children know not to use bleach to wash themselves, which means that the moment we start learning about what cleaning products to use, we are already junior chemists. Medicine is another important use of chemistry. The pills and medicine we use are all made from chemicals that are there to make our body stronger and to kill viruses and bacteria. Then things like fruits and supplements can be used to prevent illnesses and these are also produced from chemical reactions. Basically, without medicine, which requires chemistry, we would get sick very often. And chemistry is used to research new medicines. Can you believe that about a hundred years ago, people died from having a cold? It's because of discoveries in chemistry that we now have cheap medicines to get rid of the cold. Chemistry is also an important part of our environment. Fertilizers and compost for our gardens are created when chemical reactions take place. Think about how cow or horse dung is used to fertilize plants. People were doing it for centuries before scientists discovered how it actually works. But farmers started doing it after seeing how plants reacted to the dung. So even though they didn't study chemistry like you are, they were really good chemists. But there are more serious things to look at, like how some chemicals are nutritious to the environment and others cause pollution. Only through studying chemistry can we begin to discover ways to produce chemicals that are sustainable and not harmful to the natural world. In summary, we can see now that we're all chemists. From cooking food to cleaning ourselves, we make choices every day based on the way chemicals work. Chemistry is also important for the creation of medicines and environmental issues. By doing research in chemistry, we can find new cures for diseases as well as better chemicals to use in our natural environment.